What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new AEW Unmatched Action Figure Review, and it is on the AEW Unmatched Series Number 8 CM Punk Luminaries Collection Figure. Now, this is a set we've been waiting on for a very long time, and I mean, I can't even fathom it. It's been so damn long since we've had an AEW un Unrivaled or Unmatched Wave, or at least it feels like it to me. It just seems like these figures aren't coming off on a clip that we've been wanting to see, and this is a figure that a lot of people have been waiting on. This is going to be the last CM Punk figure that we see from AEW and Jazz Wares of course, many Mattel figures to come, of course, can't wait for those, but today we are covering the last ever, at the time of recording this, CM Punk AEW figure, and it is an Unmatched Series 8, man. If you want to grab this figure, if you want to grab any AEW figures, go to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. I would greatly appreciate that, of course, but a huge shout out to those guys, as always. Big supporter of the channel is Ringside Collectibles. But today, man, we are taking a look at this Luminaries collection. A lot of critique coming in about the head sculpt, man. A lot of people saying it looked like Kurt Cobain. A lot of people saying it looked like Colin Farrell. I mean, CM Punk and Colin Farrell kind of favor anyway, but you get the Ring of Honor microphone. You get some good stuff going on. I love the Luminaries packaging. It never gets old with the blue. I just think it looks so damn good. But you have the yellow in there. You got his entrance shirt. This is, of course, his Ring of Honor gear, man. A figure and a look that a lot of people have wanted in this scale for a very long time. But CM Punk on the side. You got CM Punk there, and then on the back, you get a great shot of Pepsi Phil with his Pepsi logo. How the hell are they getting away with this? Somebody's got to stop these guys. You have the rest of the figures in the wave. A wave I've been waiting on, man. Been wanting Brody King. Been wanting Malachi Black in the suit. We're going to do House of Black in a full video. So we're going to do Brody, Malachi, and Buddy Matthews all in the same video. But that is pretty much our CM Punk Luminaries Collection Ring of Honor figure, man. Let's go ahead, crack him out of the packaging, find out what he's all about, put him on the rotating base, and see if this CM Punk figure goes out with a bang. So here we have CM Punk out of the packaging, man. Looking pretty damn good, I might add. I'm enjoying what I'm seeing out of this figure. Of course, not a perfect figure by any means, but we are going to, of course, take a look at the figure, diagnose it, see what it's about, see all the different things, dive into the details, of course. And I wanted to do this CM Punk by himself just because I felt like it was necessary. You know, we did the first ever CM Punk figure by itself, the Unmatched Collection Series number 4 figure. We did the Supreme Collection by itself. So it's kind of just been like this thing. Like, Supreme Collection figures always get their own review, but I always did that for the CM Punk figure. So I figured, why not continue the trend? Do the last ever CM Punk like we did the first ever CM Punk. And, of course, we will see how that goes as we progress with the Mattel figures. But, nonetheless, man, let's shut the hell up. Dive into the accessories you get with the Unmatched Collection CM Punk figure. And then we will take a closer look at the figure itself. So, getting into the CM Punk accessories you get with this Unmatched Series number 8 CM Punk. Man, let's start things off with the cloth goods. And, man, how good is the cloth goods? The cloth goods are great, but we all know that it's probably going to stain the figure. Now, fortunately, I don't think I saw any standing on mine. Now, they did take you know, the proper precautions. They had the, the plastic wrapping on there and whatnot. But, I mean, if you leave the figure mint on card long enough, if you leave the jacket on there without cleaning it and whatnot, and not doing the method where you, you wash the hell out of it in hot water and hand rinse it and soak it like it's the damn little house on the prairie, you know, you soak the hell out of it, you don't dish soap that thing and let that thing air dry, you're probably going to get some staining on your figure. Now, with all that being said, this is a fantastic jacket. You do have the Velcro on the front right here, which is great. It's a fantastic jacket. I mean, it looks good. You have the skull and crossbones. You have the X's on the back. Now, one thing that's crazy is mine's kind of off-centered. You guys can see there the one X over here is off-centered compared to this one. Maybe it was like that. I highly doubt it. Mine's a little bit off-center. Not the biggest deal ever, but I do like the jacket. It's a nice jacket. It fits the figure well. And that's all you can really ask for. I mean, uh, besides that, uh, <laughs> the staining, man. Got to get rid of the staining, but... You know what? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say there, but hopefully that could be addressed in the future. But nonetheless, man, you do get the cloth goods jacket, which is a fantastic piece. And you can put it on your other figures. Now, outside of that, we do get a Ring of Honor microphone. Not an AEW microphone this time, but you guys can see there it does have the ROH logo and it says Ring of Honor. So that's good. I like that we're getting a different microphone right there. Instead of an AEW microphone, we get the accurate Ring of Honor one, which I think is a nice touch and a nice nod to Ring of Honor, of course. So you know, you get an extra little Ring of Honor mic. And then for his interchangeable hands accessories, we do get mic holding or weapon wielding hands that do have black nail polish and they have the drug free tattoo on there with the sculpted hand tape and the white peg with black X's. And you also get the fisted hands with the same tattoos, drug free, white hand tape, all the different stuff, nail polish. It all looks good. So they did a good job on the sculpted hands. All right, so getting into the head sculpt right here, it looks a bit weird because I it's like he's smiling or he's got like his teeth showing, but they're not, but they might be. But I feel like if he just had a straight face or a snarling face, it would have been much better. So the head sculpt's a bit weird. It does definitely favor Colin Farrell. And I, look, I feel like my eyes or something are misprinted a little bit. But the likeness is there, I think. It does look like Kurt Cobain as well. But the dirty blonde hair looks pretty good. I'd say, you know, it's like that bleached yellow hair, which is very cool. You got the 5 o'clock shadow or the beard in there, which is cool as well. 
I, you know, I like the head sculpt. It's not my favorite by any stretch. It's not the best, but I still like it. I think it pretty much resembles Punk. Now, will I head swap it? Probably. You know, that's just the, the way it goes. But going down to the torso, he doesn't have near the tattoos that he does today, but he does have the straight edge tattoo right there. Is that how damn unaligned it is? Is it supposed to look like that? Maybe it's just mine or something like that. Maybe it just got misprinted a little bit there, but is it that high? Is that E? I think that E is supposed to a little bit be a little bit more space, so that's kind of bothersome. But nonetheless, you do have the Pepsi tattoo over there. You have his other tattoos here. He has the wrist tape that says home on there. You got the X. Of course, for straight edge, shout out that. The Cobra logo there, which is cool. And then you have the Lucky 13. You got other tattoos back here. I hate that the tattoo doesn't continue when you, when you articulate it. I just think it really stands out in photography and stuff. But you have the sculpted wrist tape, which I like. And then you do have the yellow basketball shorts, which are very sweet, man. I love this. You got the punk down the side in the silver and black. Then on the other side, you have the triple X there, straight edge going on, which is very cool as well. Very nice. I like the gear. I've always been a fan of this gear from back in the day. We do have the open knee pads here, which look really clean as well. And he does have the boot articulation there, or the boot swivel, which is freaking fantastic. And I, I did, I'm, I'm digging the figure in terms of feel and hand and looks. However, I don't know, man. I just, I feel like the, the shoulders are definitely rickety. I find that a lot with the Unmatched collection compared to the Unrivaled for whatever reason. Maybe they're made in separate factories, but really good ab crunch in there. He does have this ball hinge, you know, you get the full rotation there, the bicep swivel, the double jointed arms, which is nice as well. He can do the splits. Legs are a bit loose, to be honest with you, but you do get a double jointed knee in there. You do get the boot swivel. Ankles move down and up. He has a good ankle pivot. Like, very good articulation. Or, you know, the AEW figures, for the most part, depending on the character you get, I mean, pretty damn articulated, man. I mean, you could pose these guys around pretty damn good, but I do want to get into some CM Punk figure comparisons. So for your CM Punk figure comparisons, man, here is every AEW CM Punk figure that we got from Jazzwares outside of the Unmatched Collection Series 4 because I took that figure with the long skinny legs and I got rid of it. Now, I just did a leg swap and it's on my other shelf and I didn't feel like breaking it out here. But this is from left to right. You have the ringside exclusive return promo style punk. You have the blood and guts punk here. The Unmatched Series 8, you have the Supreme Collection, and then you do have the Walmart Exclusive Punk right there. I do have the other camo gear over there, which I guess I could grab, but for the most part, this is all of them here. And if you guys were wondering, I guess we could do a couple torso swaps so you guys could kind of see what you're working with here. So if we pop that off, and then you want to pop on this over here, you know, put the Supreme. Dude, this crotch piece right here is actually like separating right there. You guys hear that crap? It's awful, but you can put that on there if you guys want a Supreme collection, you know, in the Ring of Honor gear. I guess you could do that, you know, if you want to do that. It looks pretty good there. And then, Jesus in heaven, the blood and guts figure. I haven't done the acetone method or anything like that where, you know, you can like, I don't know, take all the blood off and make like a white shorts punk. But if you guys wanted to see what that looks like, that's what that looks like. If you guys want to make the white gear and whatnot, I definitely want to track down the chase figure and have the red gear, but... It's still pretty cool to see all these figures up next to each other, man. I, I, I'm i digging it. I, I like to see him punk on match day. Is it perfect? I don't know, but I, I like it. You know, it's a nice... It's it's kind of ironic that one of his earlier wrestling looks is the last ever figure that he got from AEW and Jazzwares. So I just wrapped up the CM Punk AEW Unmatched review, and so I'm kind of just freelancing this here, but... I found this Ring of Honor Championship in my championship drawer. I forgot I had this. I do believe this is from my buddy Dan Turnquist. I'm pretty sure this is his work. And it looks phenomenal, man. So if you guys want to order a belt from him, this belt looks so damn good with this figure. It's kind of crazy. But I know I'm going to put it in the thumbnail. So I wanted to at least in, in, you know, put, put a clip in here of the figure with it. Because it, it just looks so damn good, man. This is unreal. But I think that pretty much wraps up our AEW Unmatched Series number 8 CM Punk figure review on the Luminaries Collection Ring of Honor CM Punk, man. I like the figure, you know. I'm not going to stand here and just plant my damn flag and be like, this is the best figure I've ever seen, but I do like it. I've been waiting on this version of CM Punk for a very long time. You know, we did get the Blood and Guts version, which is cool, and I like the comparison and stuff like that, and I am going to try to track down the Red Shorts Chase figure of the CM Punk here in the Unmatched Series 8, but I like the Yellow Trunks a lot. I, I really do dig this. It really brings me back to a moment in time when I was a kid watching, you know, him and, and stuff like that, so it's kind of, it's just crazy to have this figure this far in the future now versus then, and it's it's just crazy. I think it's a really awesome release. I'm glad that we got this figure out. I really wish we could have got that extra Supreme Collection, the Series 4 figure, in the non-Blood and Guts version of this attire, or you know what I mean, the Ring of Honor style gear with the shorts and the white and black attire. 
but that didn't come to fruition, unfortunately. But hopefully, we will get some cool Mattel figures, of course. But I like this figure a lot, man. If you guys enjoy this figure, of course, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use code MDTOYS to pick yourselves up this figure and the rest of Series 8 out of the Unmatched Collection. I'm really hoping that AEW figures this year continue to release and we you know, improve the quality over time and everything like that. I really love the Cloth Goods entrance shirt. I think that's so bad, eh? I just think it looks great, man. The, the, the crossbones and the skull with the triple X's on the back is just so fire. I, I, I love it. I think that's awesome. Not a perfect figure by any stretch. I, I am afraid it's going to stain. I'm definitely going to have to do the washing method on this figure and whatnot, but the jacket's high quality. Uh, I think the the, cl the cloth goods that AEW figures have is, is really good and stuff like that, but this figure is pretty damn snazzy, and I think it's worth the pickup, especially just this era of punk, man. If you're a punk fan, man, I, I would grab it. I would definitely grab it, you know, if you gravitate towards punk at all. If you're ever, if you're a CM Punk fan, you need to have this, because I think it's a good representation and whatnot, but, and don't forget, we're going to get so many Ring of Honor figures this year, apparently, from the Vault and the Jazzwares exclusives and stuff like that, so you may want to have this so you can have that complete Ring of Honor collection when it's all said and done, so that's something to think about, but I think that's pretty much going to wrap the video up, man. I want to give a huge shout-out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel, as we had a brand new sign-up yesterday. Shout-out to Johnson's Figure Vault for signing up to the Patreon, man. Greatly appreciate you, brother, for signing up over there. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support, as always. Always, but I want to give a huge shout out to my man Johnson's figure vault over there and also just pretty much shout out to everybody watching this video man I greatly appreciate it I hope you guys did enjoy the review I'd like a like on the video man I greatly appreciate a like on it if you will leave me a comment on what you think of this figure whether you like it or you hate it I'd like to know your thoughts down in the comment section below I greatly appreciate it man but that is going to wrap the video thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy follow me on Instagram Twitter and TikTok at my damn toys I will see you guys in the next video have a blessed one and I'll catch you later